Good morning. Welcome to this morning's vlog. Uh, happy Easter, by the way. It is Sunday the 1st of April. It's a super cold, but most importantly, dry and still Easter morning. But unfortunately, no time for rolling eggs, eating chocolate. It's race day today. We're heading off to Stirling for the Crit on campus. We're just out having a little morning walk, freshening up the head and getting ready. So, let's get on with it. Let's get that car packed and let's get on the road. Let's go off. We should still have fun, though we say we don't. Cause I just wanna get down with you. Today, um, as I said in the intro, it's uh, race day. Uh, we're heading up to Stirling. It's uh, first race of the season for me, as I've mentioned in a couple of other vlogs. Uh, we've had a little injury. We've also had a race cancelled. And um, so, yeah, today is uh, today's race number one. It's the Crit on the Campus, organised by the Stirling Bike Club. And um, yeah good little event. Um, it's on this morning from about half past eight. There's a whole load of juniors taking part and then you've got two Cat 4 races, you've got a 3-4 race and then you've got the women's Elite 1, 2, 3 and then you've got the men's Elite 1, 2, 3 to finish off. Um, so cracking event, over 400 riders uh, taking part today. Um, University campus grounds, so obviously uh, there's a closed circuit being a crit. Um, circuit itself is about 0.8 of a mile. My race itself is uh, 30 minutes plus 5 laps. Um, what else can I tell you? It's an undulating circuit. Uh, as you'd expect with a crit, it's fast. There's a couple of uh, really tight left-handers. There's a little fast S-bend. Um, fast little chicane as well. It's relatively flat. Um, there's a little, there's, the start finish line has a slight uphill drag. Uh, once you've turned that corner, 
Uh, let me think, once you turn that corner, there's again a, li a little increase through the left right, chicane, uh, hard left, and then you're, you've got a very, very gradual rise before the sweeping left hander, which is back down the hill. Very, very fast. There was a crash there last year. Um, hopefully that's going to be a, a safe a safe turn this year. And um, yeah, then you've got a, a very fast S-bend coming down through the main uh, sort of block of the campus and then you're back to the start finish line. So super, super tight circuit, very fast. In terms of how I'm feeling, as I've mentioned previously, I've not done as much training as I should have done up to this point. However, the legs are feeling good. Uh, we took yesterday off work. Um, we had Friday night off as well, so we've just been relaxing pretty much for the past day and a bit. Um, once we get up to Stirling, we'll get the bike out and we'll go for a little spin just to open the legs, loosen them a little. And um, yeah, I mean, the top end power is not there. The fitness isn't quite where it needs to be uh, this early in the season. However, as I say, the legs are feeling good and uh, it is only a 30 minute race plus five laps. Uh, the laps are probably, be lucky if you're, you know, a minute, two minutes per lap. So anyway, that's pretty much the update for today. As you saw, it's five degrees currently. The sun is out. There is a little bit extra cloud here. There was pretty much no cloud back in Edinburgh. Um, there was rain forecast. However, so far, fingers crossed, it doesn't look that bad. The clouds are fairly white. Um, it's not going to get much warmer than what it is. Uh, as it just ticked over to six in the car just now. I think the high is seven today. So a, a, a pretty standard, brisk Easter spring morning. The main thing is it's dry. There's very little wind, so let's hope it stays that way. Um, right, I've got to get cracking with this drive. It's uh, just approaching 11. We probably, you know, to be honest, we wanted to be there just now, just to chill out. Uh, we don't need to. We don't need to be there for another half an hour, so we've got plenty of time. Um, but yeah, better get on with this riding, uh, this this driving. Better get on with this driving, and uh, catch up in a little bit. Here we go, we've arrived, Stirling Uni. It feels fresh, it's nice. There is a little bit of cloud cut over, it is a little bit grey. Fingers crossed, the rain stays off. Let's go and get signed on. A few inches later.
things we used to do No, you couldn't stand tall So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all
about the things we used to do No, you couldn't stand tall So why didn't you, why didn't you call? So many years has gone by But I think about you, about you all the time Looks like you're changing and all But why didn't you, why didn't you call? Hey guys, welcome back. So, there you go. Uh, race over. Um, link down below to the Strava, see how I got on. Um, wasn't bad, wasn't great, wasn't bad. Um, faster than last year, which is the main thing. Um, the fitness definitely, as I knew coming into today's race, it isn't there. Um, I, was, I was off the pace um, by, well, certainly a uh, shout out to Alan Weir. Uh, from the Glasgow uh, Glasgow Green Cycling Club, um, I bumped into him on the start line. Um, <clears throat> thanks very much for following the videos, Alan. Uh, bumped into him at the end. He managed to get third. Unluckily, um, he was going for the podium, but <clears throat> just got eased out on one of the last corners. Looking at his ride and my ride, my fastest lap was two o nine. His fastest lap was two o five. So four seconds off the off the pace. Um, I don't actually know the finishing uh, the finishing position. Um, I'd say mid to back of the pack, um, just purely because when we hit five laps to go and everyone made a little kick, then with three laps to go, I just couldn't keep up um, and I started losing places. I did manage to get a couple of places uh, just on the finishing line. Um, I had enough left for just a tiny little sprint just up that little drag. <clears throat> so happy with that. But overall, the cardiovascular fitness isn't there. But we knew that. We knew that coming in. The main thing is we did actually perform better than last year. So, you know, on the one hand, that's good. And on the other hand, that's a little bit disappointing because had we had our fitness better, you know, there's a, there's a that brings in a big what if. And I hate, I hate doing things with what ifs. You can't think about what ifs. But it's a human reaction to think that way. Anyway... I am going to head back over. Uh, I've I've handed back in my chip. I've got my my race license back. The cut the the kits back in the bat in the car. So I'm going to head back over to watch. Um, hopefully, 
the tail end of the second Cat 4, grab some food, then watch the 3-4 race, um, try and get some footage. Hopefully this camera is working properly because it took a hell of a dunt. Um, certainly the lens isn't working properly, so I'm going to have to take it in to get repaired. repaired. Might even need to get a new one. Um, hopefully the body's okay, I'm not sure if it's displaying properly. Um, but yeah, head back over, watch some more racing. Might hang about for the elite guys, might not. It is a nice day. So we'll just see how, what happens. But that's it for um, Crit on Campus 2018. I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. If you have, please drop me a thumbs up. <clears throat> Very much appreciate you hitting that button, tickling it, smashing it. You know the script for 2018. Subscribe to the channel, please, if you've not already done so. If you have, thank you very much. I very much appreciate it, appreciate all you new subscribers. If you are subscribing, uh, make sure you hit the little notification bell so when this video goes live, you'll know about it. Share the video, spread the love far and wide, and as ever, <clears throat> I shall see you again soon for some new videos. Right on. <laughs>